Hi there, this is Mokash. I'm the creator of Filament Kanban Package. And I've been receiving a couple of uh, requests for further clarification on how to use the package. Apparently, the README isn't uh, clear enough. So I thought maybe I should record a video and show you how to use the package. Uh, let's just create a uh, brand new Laravel project. I'm just going to call it filament uh, Kanban example. And I don't need a starter kit. Let's just stick to PHP unit for now. And uh, yeah, why not? Let's create a Git repository. So uh, this is going to take a while to install Laravel. And uh, we're going to use SQLite for our database. Let's cd into this new project folder. And I've set up herd, so it's just going to help me um, load this project. And the project is up and running. So now let's require uh, and install filament. And always, if, if you're not, uh, if you can't do it by heart, just refer to uh, the documentation and follow step by step. Sometimes the documentation is not uh, super clear. Maybe you can create a pull request. Maybe you can uh, explain your confusion and they can improve the, the docs. So let's just compose our uh, require filament filament. And I think after that, we're going to need to create a panel. Uh, which is going to be our default admin panel. And then we need to create a user. So let's create a panel, call it admin. And I've already start um, filament on GitHub. So now I should be able to access the login page of my admin panel. But I don't have a user yet. Yeah, so let's create a user. And let's call him Mo with test at example.com. And oh, I don't have a, a database. So let's quickly do PHP artisan migrate. And yes, please create the database. And now I have the tables. So let's create the user, call him Mo, test at example.com. And I'm just going to use password for password. So I should be able to log in with this, this example. And there we go. So we're in. Now uh, filament is up and running. We don't have to do anything else uh, here. And we're going to move on to the documentation for filament Kanban. So what's the first thing we need to do? We need to pull in the package. So let's do that. And I haven't even gotten to the code yet. We're just in the terminal for now. So we have the package. And now we have to publish the assets. And there we go. We have the assets. Now, we, if we refresh here, we don't have anything yet because we have to create a page because you can have multiple Kanban boards and multiple pages per project. So let's create one. And I'm using users Kanban board as, as an example, because you already have uh, a user model with Laravel, which is going to help you. If you're just trying to uh, get your feet wet, maybe you're testing a couple of packages, Kanban packages, and seeing which one you're going to use in your project. So OK. So here we have a stop. And I have some examples as comments. But I haven't filled anything for you. So this is the first thing that you're going to hit. Let's go into the code and start changing the stub to uh, be able to get the page up and running. OK, so this is my uh, brand new package. I'm going to go to users Kanban board. And you can see the first method that I need to overwrite is statuses. And right now it's squawking because uh, it expects you to return a collection, and it's not returning anything right now. So I'm going to return a collection. And I know this collection should be uh, should contain an array 
of arrays. Each of those arrays need to return an ID, which can be, uh, let's just say pending for now, and the title uh, that's gonna be shown uh, on the page. And let's just use the title case of the same thing. And we're gonna duplicate this and say active and active. This can be anything you want, but we're just gonna go with pending and active for now. And it's gonna have issues with this one as well because this one needs to load your records somehow. This can be an array, this can be anything. And I'm using an example of database here. Let's just go with the user model and I'm gonna import it at the top. So um, sorting them based on updated at and getting them. Why am I doing this? Because I'm not using any package or anything uh, right now to let me sort uh, based on a custom sort uh, and order. Uh, so I'm just gonna sort them by the latest updated at. Okay, let me mute my mobile so we don't get any of this. This is very professional screencasting right there. Okay. So uh, I'm just gonna sort them by updated at. So the latest change will be at the top. So let's just gonna go, let's just, uh, let's just go and see what happens. So I'm gonna refresh and I can see my statuses and I'm not getting any errors, but I'm not getting the records either. Why is that? Because I know I have one user, which is the logged in user, which we called Mo, but it doesn't have any status. So it's not active. It's not pending, so it's not going to be here. So let's just go to our uh, create users table and add another column called status. And let's default it to uh, pending just for the demonstration purpose. And uh, just so I don't have to create um, my user with filament command every time we recreate the database, let's just go to database seeder and this is just standard Laravel. Let's just create 10 users and another user that I, I will log in with called Mo with testedexample.com and password of password. Okay. So now let's drop all the tables, rerun the migrations and seed the database. Now if I, uh, why am I going there? Now if I refresh, uh, I'll be able to log in again and I can see all the users in the pending column. I can see all the users, but uh, they don't have any name or anything. Why is that? Because the package by default uh, is going to look for a column on your model, which is user model here, called title. And it's going to get the title from there. But we can customize that and tell the package that my my model doesn't have a title column. So you're gonna use another column uh, on my model for the title of the card. And we're gonna use user's name for that. So if I refresh now, I should be able to see user's names. Right, okay, one step further, baby steps. Now let's try to move one of these users to the active column. Okay, so drag and drop seems to be working. Now, when I let go, it doesn't persist because I have the JavaScript mechanism working, but we haven't told the PHP, the Laravel side, how to persist this uh, on status change, when the status changes. Again, I have an example here ready to use for you. So you uncomment this, you use your own model, which is user model here. We find the user model based on the record ID that is being sent to us through JavaScript. And we're going to update the status column. You can use any other name for your status column with the status ID that is being sent again through JavaScript. And we're not going to worry about ordering and setting new order for now. We're going to do that in another video. Let's just take baby steps. And by the way, this is Invo book by um, some guy, really cool project. Uh, that I keep going to. Okay, so now if I go and try to move Mo, this is still not working. Is the package broken? No, it's because status is, where we're trying to update the status, but it's not in the fillable um, a 
array of users. So it's being ignored by, by Laravel, basically. So you don't need to change anything here after this. Uh, you just need to add it to fillable. So now, hopefully, yeah, we're getting uh, the updated status here. And you can see the visual feedback uh, because right now I'm, I'm not using a custom sort. So if, if I drop something here, it's not going to stick here because it's loading it from the database again and it's sorting them here uh, with updated at column, right? So the latest uh, update is the latest status change here, right? So if I change the status, it's going to update and it's going to be the top one. So because you know it's jumping around, I, I added this visual feedback of uh, flashing for a couple of seconds so you can know which uh, record has been just updated. So that's that. That's the basic usage of the package. In the next videos, hopefully, we're going to get to other customizations. We're going to get to using an enum, the recommendations, using the trait, using Spotsy package to reorder and further customize the views and uh, get something beautiful like, like these uh, Kanban boards. See you in the next videos.